This is a brand new era in, in pulmonary medicine and we're really excited about it because with this we should be able to achieve 90-95% uh, success on getting out to these lesions without having to do more invasive procedures like uh, thoracotomies where someone would have to be surgically opened. The robotics uh, works by taking a CAT scan and superimposing the images of the CAT scan uh, into the computer system and then when we take you into the procedure room uh, we place a small probe using a robot down into the lungs and that probe looks at sensors on the chest much like your car uh, when you're driving down the road the GPS in your car looks at three satellites uh, in the sky to triangulate your position on earth uh, this looks at the three sensors on the chest to determine exactly where you are in the location inside the lungs. We can actually steer and see into these deep recesses of the lungs that we've never even actually seen ourselves before. And we can navigate out to these spots. How that helps the patient is that they don't have to go more invasive procedures. Uh, we can get to these lesions, biopsy them, find out if this is something bad or not. And so the hope with this new technology of robotics that we have here at CMC is that we'll be able to navigate out to these lesions, uh, diagnose these at a much earlier stage than what we've ever been able to do in the past, and shift the diagnosis more to early stage lung cancer than late stage. Unfortunately, right now, if you get the uh, diagnosis of lung cancer all comers, it's only about a 15% survival. However, we know that if you catch a lung cancer early in stage one or stage two, uh, the yield goes up to 88 to 92 percent survival. The hope is by being able to use robotics to get to these spots earlier when they're still tiny in early stages and get a, a proper diagnosis we can get them treated and the survival rate here in West Virginia around the CMC area is going to dramatically improve. Most centers in the country just have traditional bronchoscopy and again that's only successful about 14 percent of the time uh, because it, it is the lesions occur beyond what we can see with a traditional uh, camera. The new robotic technology incorporates the electromagnetic navigational bronchoscopy with real live camera uh, feedback. And so we're able to actually see clear to the lining of the lung in a lot of instances. So not only are we able to use the computers to navigate out there, but the cameras actually lets us visualize what, what's out there. And so we get a more precise biopsy. I think it's great. My dad had lung cancer, which is one of the big reasons why I went into to pulmonary medicine. And so uh, I think about him all the time, and I think about uh, how great it would have been had we maybe caught his at an earlier stage.